Good day, welcome again to our class. Our topic for today is cash discount. In order to get retailers to pay their bills promptly, most manufacturers offer cash discounts to customers who pay early. The terms of payment usually specify a number of days from the invoice date for which the discount is allowable, as well as the total number of days from the invoice date when the payment is due if the discount is not taken. Generally, the invoice shows the following. We have the rate discount, which express as percent of the net amount of the invoice. The net amount of the invoice is the amount after the three discounts are deducted. Next, we have the discount period, indicating the time period when a cash discount can be applied. And finally, the credit period indicates the time when the invoice must be paid. Generally, there are three types of cash discounts. So the first one is ordinary dating. It is the most commonly used method whereby payment terms are based on the invoice date. Example, a manufacturer who gives a 2% cash discounts on all bills to be paid in 30 days records the terms as follows, 2 over 10 and over 30. This terms indicates that 2% cash discount is allowed if the bill is paid within 10 days from the invoice date, and the net amount of the invoice is 230 days from the invoice date. Let's have another example for ordinary dating. An invoice gives cash discounts based on the following terms, 2 over 10, 1 over 30, and N over 60. This terms indicates that a 2% cash discount is allowed if the bill is paid within 10 days from the invoice date. A 1% discount if paid after 10 days and before 30 days. And the net amount of the invoice is 260 days from the invoice date. The next type of cash discount is end of month dating. It means or it shifts the invoice date to the last day of the month so that the discount period or credit period starts after the end of the month. So let's say, let's have example, an invoice dated April 20 with the terms 1 over 10, end of month. So I have a April 20, I'll move the invoice into the last day of the month, which is actually April 30. Then after April 30, I had 10 days. Okay, this is actually what we call discount period. So from April 30, there are 10 days. So if I can settle my obligation on or before May 10, I can avail for 1% cash discount. The third type of cash discount is receipt of goods dating or better known as ROG. It means that the discount and credit periods start on the day after the merchandise has been received. Receipts of goods dating is used when the transportation of the goods takes a long time, possibly due to the distance at which the goods are being shipped. So let's have example for ROG. Say for instance, an invoice dated April 20 with terms 3 over 10 ROG. So the invoice is April 20. Say for example, you receive the item until May 10, then within days, within 10 days, until May 20, this is what we call discount period. You can avail for 3% discount. But if you settle your obligation beyond May 20, you can no longer avail for 3% discount. Let's have the following formula. So let's start with amount payable is equal to net price minus the cash discount. Also, we have cash discount is equal to net price times discount rate. But take note that if I want to get the amount payable, so I'll simply substitute the value of cash discount, which is equal to net price times discount rate. So I'll simply substitute that one here. Then, again, factor out the common factor of net price. So it will result to amount payable is equal to net price times 1 minus discount rate. Take note that the amount payable is the amount that you need to settle for your obligation. Let's have example here. 
An invoice of 12,800 dated July 26, terms of 2 over 10, EOM is paid on August 10. What is the amount paid? So let's diagram. So the invoice is July 26, and it will be transferred on July 31. So since this is EOM, and I'll count 10 days within, okay, or from July 31. So I have 10 days from July 31 to August 10. So that is considered as this discount period for me to avail the 2% discount. Since I settled the obligation on August 10, therefore, I can avail for the discount of 2%. Now, I would like to identify the given. So the net price is equal to 12,800, while the term of discount is 2 over 10 EOM. Now, so amount payable is equal to net price times 1 minus discount rate. Then I simply plug in the numbers of the net price and the discount rate. Since, okay, I set up the obligation on August 10, so I can avail, avail for 2% discount. So using our calculator, so amount payable is equal to 12,544. So therefore, the amount payable on August 10 is 12,544. Let's have another example. Brett Pitt Company has received an invoice of 84,650 pesos dated July 10. The terms of 3 over 10 and over 30 are OG that arrive on August 15. What is the last day for the taking the cash discount and how much is to be paid if the discount is taken? Now, so let's try to diagram the problem. So the invoice is July 10. However, you receive the item on August 15. Now, from August 15, since this is ROG, you will count 10 days after August 15. So, it means that is until August 25 for you to avail the cash discount of 3%. Now, so you want to know what is the last day for taking the cash discount and how much is to be paid if the discount is taken. So, let's write down the given. So the net price is 84,650, while the terms of discount is 3 over 10 receipts of goods dating. Now, I'll use the formula AP or amount payable is equal to net price times 1 minus discount rate. Now, so simply plug in the numbers, we have 84,650 times 1 minus 3%. So using the calculator, so amount payable is equal to 82,110.50. So therefore, the amount payable on August 25 is 82,110.50. To summarize our discussion for the cash discounts, we have three types. So the first one is the ordinary dating, whereby payment terms are based on the invoice date. Next is the end of month dating. Shifts the invoice date to the last day of the month so that the discount period or the credit period starts after the end of the current month. And finally, the receipts of goods dating. So it means that the discount and credit periods start on the day after the merchandise have been received.